Hello again. It is 8.55 on this Monday morning. Let's go to Marty with updating conditions. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the forecast. Pretty good amount of clouds around now, but we'll be splitting that with sun as we move through the day. No rain. 76 degrees is going to be the forecast high. Just take it away. Marty, thank you. Flooding causes major damage to a bridge in Laurel. Portions of the bridge on Route 198 is reportedly missing. All lanes in both directions of the bridge between Eagle Drive and Route 32 are closed. Drivers are urged to avoid that area as crews work to assess the damage. The weekend rainstorm delays the cleanup process in Ellicott City. Mike Shue reports. Good morning, Jess. Good morning, everyone. On the one week anniversary of the fatal flood, constant worry about rain. The county cut off access for residents downtown as a rain runoff barreled down out of nearby hills. Uh, one bright spot as the Patapsco River receded, part of the historic rebuilt clock that was swept away twice in two floods was found wedged amidst the debris and recovered. Access will resume today at 4 o'clock here from St. Peter's Episcopal on Rogers Avenue. I'm Mike Shee reporting. Back to you, Jess. Mike, thank you. Funeral arrangements are set for Staff Sergeant Edison Hermond. He is the National Guardsman who lost his life in the floods. Both a public viewing and his funeral will be held on Thursday, starting at 10 a.m. at the church at Severn Run in Anne Arundel County. Funeral services will begin at 10:30. Hermond is laid to be or will be laid to rest at the Maryland Veterans Cemetery in Crownsville. And please stay right here with WJZ News and Weather. We'll have the very latest today at noon, 4, 5, and 6. And for news and weather anytime, just go to WJZ.com or follow us on Twitter and at Facebook. Have a great day.